Hello and welcome to the Book Coven solo review. I'm Lillian here today to review Future Feelings and Chelsea will put the book cover here. This one, oh my god, I forgot the author name. Okay, I forget his name. But this is for our LGBTQ plus month. I'm a little late with this. It took some time to read because, and I hate to say this, I did not like this book at all. In fact, it was one of very few books that I could not finish. I, and I really gave it a try. I made it till about like 40 or 50 pages to the end. Just could not finish it. It was just like, it felt like it ended, but they just kept going and I didn't care anymore. So I just put it away. And that hurts me. I'm sorry for this because it could have been so good, but I just didn't get it. It's um, basically no spoilers. Um, it's sometime in the future, the 20 somethings. He never says what year it is, but it's a bit of a technologically advanced world in ways that I can't explain to you because I didn't understand them. But part of this world is there's something called the Shadowland, which is, it sounded like a realm that trans people go to during their transition. And it, like I picked the book because it sounded like it was gonna be an actual other place that people journey through, which would have been fun, but it was just, they were just sad in their world, you know? Like, I thought they were gonna go into a dream state and wind up in this place that they'd have to fight their way out of. It was just depressed people in our time just being depressed. And so I don't know what the Shadowlands are. I guess the whole book, like the purpose of the book is that there's these three trans characters who are all in different parts of their journey. They've all had different experiences with their transitions. And it's just them like coming together and forming friendships and figuring out like their new life, their new identity, you know, what to do. Which is cool, but I just, okay, my issue was, you made it sound like we were gonna go to a fantasy world, but it wasn't. So why not, I would have much preferred if it was just sad people in this world figuring their shit out and there was no mention of the Shadowlands. Why introduce the Shadowlands if it turns out to be nothing? I don't know what the Shadowlands are. And it made me so angry. And I hated all three characters, not because they're bad people, but because they're at a point in their life where they're, they either hate the world, they hate everyone they interact with, they hate their bodies. They're just, they're not in a place where they can be, they're not who they should be and they are purposely unlikable because their world is just so shit. They like, they can't be anything but just sad assholes. And that's not fun to read about just three sad assholes running around being miserable. They needed more like a support character who was a fun, likable person. It was just, everyone was a mess. I didn't know what anyone was doing. It seemed a little pretentious at times. I just don't know what the point was. Like finding yourself, I guess, was it? But uh, it just, it didn't vibe well. It was a weirdly paced book. I don't know how long the story was supposed to be. There are these people, like it seems like the Shadowlands is this whole orchestrated thing that has like support workers and like it sounds like a thing that straight people know but they never explained if straight people knew what it was so i just don't know why any i don't know i don't get it i didn't get it and it just bummed me out it was so, like and there was a mention of a witch in it but the witch is in it for like five seconds and other than hexing them, she didn't really do anything the rest of the book. And there were just so many toxic relationships that just kept going for so long. I don't, I don't know. And I couldn't finish it. And I'm shocked that I couldn't finish it. And I'm sorry because there were moments where I thought that I could like these characters, you know? Like the main character, Penn, he had like a sense of humor that I could sort of vibe with. But again, he was in a very dark place, so like... You can't, 
it's like you can relate to them because we've all been in sort of the, that state, but I don't, I just don't, I don't get any of it. And I'm so frustrated. Why? Anyways, that was future feelings. I didn't like it. Let me know what you think. Bye.